We got a mold of a Nerf gun. We were able to take it apart. Let's see if we take this and we stick it in, if it'll harden into a Nerf gun. Let's load the gun up. And let's see, will this work? Oh yeah, okay, we're ready to go. Let's load up this cup with the clear silicone all the way to the top. Let's do this. Oh yeah, there we go, fill it to the top. Now, let's take the lime green and let's hope this works. Go, it's all stuck to the cup. Oh yeah, sure, check it out, it's coming along, it looks so good. We gotta let this stuff dry overnight, so for me it's gonna take a while, but for you, shares, you'll be able to see the final results in three, two, one, woo! Will this Nerf gun go back to normal? What's going on, Sharers? Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to another awesome day. In the last vlog, you saw us liquefy this Nerf gun. Oh, check this out. Oh, this is crazy. This is gonna be so epic when it dries. It is now dry and completely stealth black. Check it out. Now that it's dry, though, we gotta see. Will this Nerf gun peel back to normal? Let's check it out. Here we go in three, two, one. Oh, peel this. Oh, come on, come on, whoa! Oh, it's working. Check this out, Whoa! Okay, I'm working up a sweat. Shares, today's vlog is gonna be even cooler. Not only are we going to take a Nerf gun and mod it out, but we're going to make our very own Nerf gun and turn it into rubber. We got some crazy tools. I don't even know how to use this thing. Woo. And Shares, I've never done this before, but we're about to turn all this stuff into a rubber Nerf gun. So first, let's even see how this stuff works. Let's get to work. First step, we gotta put our gloves on because this stuff can get messy. All right, next step, we got this tube of 100% silicone. Let's get some scissors and let's cut off the top just like this. Then let's take the silicone, let's stick it in this type of Nerf gun thing. Metal Nerf gun, I guess, I don't know. And I think you just go like this and you start squeezing it out. Nothing's happening. Oh, whoa, check this out. Okay, this is crazy. Woo, this is cool. Then we're gonna take some food coloring, do a couple green dots, electric lime green Nerf color. Ah, okay, uh, scratch that. I don't think that worked. Let's try it again. Okay, let's try that again. We're gonna take a cup this time and fill the entire thing up with this gooey silicone stuff. So let's just squeeze it all in. Shares, we're gonna fill this cup completely up. Step one, we got all the silicone in this cup. Step two is to take the food coloring, stick it in. We're gonna do a lot of food coloring because I want this to be as red as possible. But I think it's gonna come out pink because white and red make pink. But now let's start mixing it up with the knife. Now that we got it all mixed up, let's take some of this cornstarch, put it in this bucket right here. Ooh, that's a lot. And then, you just wanna take the silicone and dump it into here, and hopefully this time it'll work. Oh yeah, this is a much bigger batch. Let's get some more cornstarch on this and let's start mixing. So what you wanna do is just punch it down like this, so there's no sticky stuff on. Cover it completely and then flip it and pound some more out. The whole goal here is to get as much cornstarch on this as possible, so that way it's not sticky. And then you can start working it in, and then it will become more rubber-like and less glue. All that cornstarch we used, and we still need more because it's getting sticky again, so let's put some more cornstarch on top. Look at this, this is so cool. It's actually working this time, but this is 100% silicone and we're gonna turn it into a rubber Nerf gun. So let's go find a gun that we can take apart and push it into a mold. We got a mold of a Nerf gun. We were able to take it apart. Let's see if we take this and we stick it in, if it'll harden into a Nerf gun. I don't know really how to do this, but uh, we'll figure it out. We'll just start pressing it in here and letting it take shape of the mold. Oh, this actually looks like it might work. Let's press it in like this. Go into all the corners. We'll start shoving in on this one too. That way we have two halves and we can hopefully peel them out, stick them together, and then we can make an awesome rubber Nerf gun. Will this work? I have no idea. Sure, it's coming right now. Hashtag Nerf if you think this is gonna work. And we still got a lot of this left. So you know what? Let's sculpt our own Nerf gun and then when it dries, it'll be a one of a kind rubber Nerf gun. Let's get to work. Let's roll this out. I'm thinking we make, we make one barrel out of this or something. Maybe this could be a handle or a couple handles. Let's just see how long we can get this. This is gonna look awesome. 
Okay, so now we got a long line. This is what I'm thinking. Let's start by shaping the gun. We're gonna do with the back handle like this. It's gonna go a little bit at an angle. And then uh, the barrel part will be about this long. So then let's chop it off right here. And then let's create another handle for some accuracy right here. Stick it on just like that. There we go. We got the first handle here. It's gonna have the trigger connected to it. Then we got a second handle here. And we're out of color, so we're gonna have to make some more. Next color, let's do some lime green. Second tube of silicone. This one's clear, so it could turn out better. It could turn out worse. I have no idea. Let's snip the top. Woo! And let's get to work. Let's load the gun up. And let's see, will this work? Oh yeah, okay, we're ready to go. Let's load up this cup with the clear silicone all the way to the top. Let's do this. Oh yeah, there we go, fill to the top. Now, let's take the lime green and let's hope this works. Come on, let's do this. As much lime green color as we can get. Ooh, it's like sherrigini green. Oh yeah. Let's get a knife. Let's start mixing. Will this work? I have no idea. Oh yeah, It'll, look, it looks like it's working. It looks like green electric sherrigini slime. This looks so cool. Oh yeah, now we just gotta mix this up like crazy. And then hopefully we can add more to the Nerf gun. Now let's take our cornstarch. Let's get our bowl. Put some cornstarch in the bowl. And then we're gonna take this little electric lime green color and we're gonna dump it in. Oh yeah, let's do this. This is gonna look so good. Woo! Oh, it's super extra sticky. Yikes. This one might be stickier than the last one. Might be harder to get it to make rubber, but let's find out. Come on. Let's do this. Oh no, it's not even coming off the cup. Come on, come on, come on. I poured so much in here, we gotta get it all out. Ooh, it's all stuck to the cup. And one more scoop, come on. All right, now let's get mixed in. Just cover it with some cornstarch on top so it's not as sticky. And then just start pushing it down and mixing it up. Shares, check out how much cornstarch is in here. By the end of this, basically all this cornstarch is gonna be gone. Let's get to work, just mix it up. Here we go. Oh yeah, sure as I told you, look, there's like no cornstarch left. It's all green silicone rubber right now. This looks so awesome. It's gonna be the perfect touch to add to the pink rubber Nerf gun. Oh yeah, sure as check it out. It's coming along, it looks so good. I think we're ready to roll it on and add it to the pink. Woo! Here's the pink Nerf gun. Oh, it is definitely drying, it's looking good. Let's add some green to it. How am I gonna add this? I think this is gonna be more of like where you put the Nerf darts and stuff. So, let's make it more of a bigger glob. Let's squish it out a little bit more like this. You know what? Let's add it about right here. I think that's gonna look good. Oh yeah, we'll lay it just like this. And check this out, chairs. This stuff is easy to cut with. So we're gonna cut it right here to make a perfect angle. Check that out. Oh yeah, sharp edge. Just what every Nerf gun needs. Let's cut the tip too, just like this. Oh yeah, this is gonna look good. Now, I think we just gotta build a barrel. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We gotta add the trigger too. So let's cut this piece off right here. And let's add the trigger cover right like this. And then the actual trigger. Let's smush this part out right like here. Let's shape it good, just like this. And then you know what, we'll chop it a little bit. Give it a sharp edge. Cut it just like that and put the trigger right like that. This is looking awesome. Now, sure, the next step is to add some fine detail. So we're gonna chop some sharp edges. We're gonna add some texture. Enough said, you know what? Let's just get to work, let's do it. Whoa, 
voila shares check it out we now got some texture to it we got some awesome lego holes on this handle right here we got some stripes we got it saying nerf we even got nerf darts in on the top the next step is we're gonna take this black silicone let's open this thing up and oh this is gonna be some black silicone well, let's load it in the gun let's see let's see uh -oh. whoa yeah this is gonna be awesome oh yeah here we go black line this is gonna look so good and it's gonna connect all the pieces together to make it extra strong. Let's do another line right here. Like a handle grip line, just like this. Oh yeah, nice and gentle. Oh, that looks good. And let's do another line right here, another handle grip line right across, just like this. And then we're gonna use this as glue to connect the trigger and the trigger handle. Let's do a dab. Actually, you know what, let's do this. Let's take it up off let's do a dab right on here like this and a dab right on there like that and then we should be able to stick it on like this press and hold there we go now it's gluing together and then let's do the same thing for the trigger a little glue right along just like that and stick it on just like this press and hold oh yeah there we go looking good all right sure that's what we have so far we have our rubber Nerf gun, it's ready to its ready to go. It's just drying right now. Will this turn out? I have no idea. We also have these two molds filled with the rubber silicone. Will these turn out? I have no idea either. We gotta let this stuff dry overnight. So for me, it's gonna take a while, but for you shares, you'll be able to see the final results in three, two, one, woo! And we are back. It is a new day, shares. Check out the mess we made. It is so messy. There is a mess all over the ground, all over the table, cornstarch everywhere. This was one messy Nerf mod project, but shares, I have a good feeling that it all turned out well. I mean, check it out. This is the rubber Nerf gun. Oh yeah, will it come off this board? Let's find out. Oh yeah, and these are some Nerf darts that we made for it. The coolest thing is they're bouncy too. Oh yeah, they're so cool. They're legit rubber Nerf darts. You can squish them and they go back to normal. It's so awesome, you can throw them down the ground. And they bounce like crazy. It's so much fun. Let's see, will this peel off? And, oh yeah, it works. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh, and you can squeeze it. Oh, it feels so good. Drop it, it bounces. This is so awesome. Rubber Nerf gun. Ah, it feels so cool. Shares, this literally is so cool. A rubber Nerf gun. You can like stretch it too. Ooh. Oh, I almost forgot. We also have the mini rubber Nerf guns too. Will this work? I have no idea. So we took a Nerf gun apart, we put the mold and stuff inside. Will it peel out? Let's find out. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Check it out, ready? Oh yeah, we got one side. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let me see if the other side comes out first before I show you. Come on. Yes, this side's easy too. <gasps> Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Oh yeah, okay, ready? Check this out, you can put two and two together. All we need to do now is glue it, but check out the detail on this. You can see every little piece of detail, all in the trigger, every button, every knob. Look how cool this is. It turned out so well. And of course, this is rubber too, so it's like squishy. You can stretch it, oh, it's so much fun. Woo, and it bounces like crazy. Now the question is though, which rubber Nerf gun do you like the best? Is it the mini rubber Nerf gun or the mega rubber Nerf gun? I think this one might be my favorite because it's got a handle and everything. It's like wobbly, but it's so cool. It's got two Nerf darts at the end. It's like ready to go. Oh, this handle feels so good. Ooh, rubber Nerf gun, oh yeah. Well yeah, I guess this would be my favorite one. I'm gonna comment hashtag mega for the mega rubber Nerf gun. Sherry's comment, which one is your favorite? Hashtag mini or hashtag mega? Comment, let me know which one. Also, if you're gonna make this, don't forget to comment hashtag Nerf if you're gonna make a rubber Nerf gun as well. They're so much fun to make, but please be careful when making them because the silicone smells really bad. But if you do it right, they can come out like this and you can just have so much fun with rubber Nerf guns. They're so cool, oh yeah. So far we made two rubber Nerf guns. We got a lot, and I mean a lot more silicone left, so share us comment your crazy ideas on more rubber Nerf guns that we can do or other cool stuff that we can make out of rubber. <gasps> and you know what, Sharers? Hold on, let's go outside because I think what I'm thinking is right, let's just check. Oh yeah, it's absolutely freezing outside. And Sharers, the coolest part is the pond is still frozen. So you know what that means, Sharers? Next vlog, we're going ice skating on the pond. We might even do a box fort versus ice. All right, here goes nothing. Box fort on ice, here we go. Three, two, one, whoa! Oh. 
yeah, that's gonna be a fun vlog. Let's get back inside. It's absolutely cool inside. We also have a ton, and I mean a ton of fan mail to unbox. And we even have been getting some Nerf guns in the mail, so we gotta do some cool epic Nerf gun unboxing as well. So shares, if you couldn't already tell, there's a lot that's going on. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also turn on post notifications because you don't want to miss a vlog. You want to get that first comment so you can get a swag pack, aka a YouTube play button keychain, and a shout out. Well, shares, that's all we got for today. I hope you love the rubber Nerf gun mod. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So until then, you 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 know what to do. Stay awesome and share the love. Peace. Woo!